Hello everybody and welcome back to another gameplay of Minecraft. Today I really want to farm a little bit here on my ocean for the very quest of finding my first trident. Hopefully I can get one. And there, down there is the place for me to actually start my adventure fighting against some drones hopefully they have tried it for me already hmm very first spot no drones here let's see if i can find another one That one there. Okay. No, these are just some fishes and squid. No, that is the place which I searched for. The underwater tower, which I have already explored very much. And why aren't here any drones? Not a single one. There. And maybe he will drop the trident. Please. No. The vast ocean is so nice to see. Especially during dawn. Or right now when the sun rises. So beautiful. And there's another underwater ship. Some kelp. Yeah, why not? I pick it up. Yes, a drone spawned right next to me. While I was exploring a little bit here, the shipwreck. Rotten flesh. Um, Oh, here's a door. I think I was here already. No. It's a completely new treasure. But I have a really strange hunch that the actual buried treasure map will lead me again to the same place which I have explored at least three times right now <laughs> and here this place looks a little bit strange oh this is my place i did this yes oh no actually not <laughs> but i have made something similar like this here somewhere and the drone spawned Yes, the Nautilus shell. Very nice. And he dropped it. Ooh, finally I have more than one round. Why are here Nautilus shells? What's happening here? I found literally here somewhere in the nowhere nautilus shells maybe drone died because of a magma block and they dropped those that could be a possibility or a plausible explanation well i guess i will leave here this place again there are no more drones I already got some really nice rare drops, but no trident. Maybe they have spawned now at my water tower. That would be nice. Please. No, not a single drone here. The best part of being here 
in a boat on the ocean is that you can see so much of Minecraft. It's so huge, really gigantic, and you will always encounter some of these prismarine blocks which will light up the ground level and oftentimes you will see those structures and right now I'm here staying on the edge yes just waiting for the ground to spawn and for my bubbles not to get down to level zero because actually if you uh, if you are close enough to a magma block you will regenerate your air automatically and now I just have to wait for more drones to, to spawn but that will take a while it's maybe quicker if I just move around hey. in essence you could try to explore an underwater or ocean monument just with a magma block or soul sand to always regenerate your life uh, your air bubble and here you can see the rarest encounter on the ocean a drowned in a boat hey that's really handy you just have to drop down a little bit in the ocean somewhere randomly and then you will find automatically one drone next to you I guess it's like this and maybe I will travel again a little bit here just to see if there's another drone who would like to spawn next to me no again let's check it if it's true or not if I just drop down here wait for at least some seconds or so then drone should spawn here there you can see there's one two oh wow I'm lucky There's a golden, golden ingot just on the surface of the ocean. Maybe I will find a trident <laughs> hovering somewhere. Again, kelp. Ooh, finally I have found one of these structures. They are pretty rare, I guess. And here is one round. Hello. And another. By the way, there's the second structure. And the third one. Whoa. They always have a chest, I guess. Again, buried treasure. 
There, another drone. Well, I could try to find the other buried treasure. If yes, this this one here is a different. I will try to find this here very quickly and now let's see where I have to go. I'm just guessing here quite sure that it is maybe over there. And yep. I'm getting very close. Now the treasure should be somewhere here. There! I found the chest, finally! Whoa! Guess I was close? Ooh! Whoa! That's much better than the trident, I would guess! <laughs> nice! And now, just to prove it for you, that this map here will lead again to that one place which I have discovered already three times in a row. I will go and search it very quickly here. Oh, that zone! That's a trident! Where? Did he drop it? Oh, I guess I do not have enough space to pick one up if I would have. Ah, uh, I could try to eat my melons quickly. No, he did not drop one. It's just the projectile which is still left over. So sad. Just trying to find one. But at least I have heard that drowned. Now let's see. If I'm actually here going to the right direction. I guess not. I'm going further away. The small dot on the map. Now it's a little bit bigger, so again I'm getting closer to the chest. Oh god, how many sunken shipwrecks will I find here on my journey? Just for trying to find one buried treasure after another. Oh man, this is insane. Oh, I cannot pick it up. Okay. I will say bye bye to my watermelon slices. Oh, this here is a really strange one. And it seems pretty close to. Wow, strange. This treasure map here seems to be leading me at this place here right there where the sand will end um maybe it's next to the chipwreck over there and it's pretty insane that i do find a shipwreck after another shipwreck just by searching for a buried treasure but it seems that i have been here already is a door which only I do not leave behind me. Yeah. Oh, bamboo! No special chest here. That's strange. Usually, there is at least one chest with a buried treasure map, but this here seems not to have one. Now, back to the 
Why is it so difficult for me to actually pinpoint down the exact location? Now I have finally pinpointed the very exact place where I should try to search for that chest here. But I don't want another chest to be filled up in my inventory again. Uh, exactly here I would say. Here is a zombie. Maybe he will try to uh, stay for some seconds longer underwater to actually become a drone. Where is he? There. Oh, he is already transformed. Stop and flash. And why do phantoms are actually able to take you underwater? There, finally, I have found the chest number two. And after the sidetrack for at least 20 minutes again I will search now for my last buried treasure hopefully I will find it very quickly uh, still no trident yet that's a little bit sad I really wanted to find the trident here on my journey on my adventure but no I found two buried treasures that's also very insane This place here seems a little bit strange. I found that there was a hole underwater. And it's really suspicious. Hmm. I guess it's alright here. Back on track. And here you see, as I told you, this is the third map I have discovered in the sunken shipwreck for one and the same buried treasure. And that's it for my adventure today. I hope you have enjoyed it pretty much <laughs> watching me discovering three different buried treasure chests. Especially if you do have come so far, I would like you to leave a comment, maybe even a thumbs up. I would appreciate very much. And I wish you all out of there who are also maybe on an adventure like me, that you have much better luck finding those treasure chests much quicker than me. I had to search for them maybe for, I don't know, so many minutes and it's a little bit tedious actually find those and I wish you all best luck to get your trident I haven't got one yet but I have two hearts of the sea and that's pretty nice and also two diamond and nautilus shell yeah wow <laughs> I cannot use those now I still need more but I'm working on it so I will see you soon in another video hopefully, goodbye.